trailer for the last season of Infinity Train dropped on YouTube a few weeks ago. And today, cartoon fanbase is here to speculate on the question hanging in the back of all of our minds. What is the nature of the relationship between the protagonists? Could Ryan and Min have romantic feelings for each other? Or are they just best friends as they claim? I'm Squid from Cartoon Fanbase, and I'm here to evaluate both sides of the argument and possibly come up with a conclusion. Of course, a spoiler warning. If you haven't seen the trailer, go watch it and come right back here. For this video, rather than come up with a conclusive answer, we'll look at the two sides and explore possible story arcs and character dynamics we could see. If you have any ideas, feel free to share in the comments down below. With that said, let's get into it. Trailer introduces us to Ryan Akagi and Minji Park, two childhood friends from Canada who aspire to become rock stars and play in New York City. However, they presumably experienced some growing pains, and by the time they got on the train, the normal train, they already had some tension between them. The question is, are they on the train to work through their issues? Is it a story about toxic friendship? Or is it a story about codependency and the two's need to give each other more space? Or it's the two's tension because of developing romantic feelings that they need to come to terms with in a judgmental society. The entire fandom seems to be in agreement that this takes place somewhere in the 1980s. The style of the diner, the clothing, Min's watch, and many more signs that are basically common knowledge at this point. Let's start with the friendship path and see what dynamics and storylines that path could take. First, let's take a look at the two protagonists. We can talk about Kaz another time. Honestly, I think she'll be more important to the story than we realize, but that's a subject for a whole nother video. Ryan seems to always be wearing more vibrant outfits, t-shirts and jeans, while Min wears more refined clothing. Ryan plays an electric guitar, while Min plays a sketrophone. A conclusion I came to based on this was Ryan was more extroverted and outgoing, perhaps to the point of being reckless and clumsy. Min was reserved, rational, pretty much the opposite of Ryan. But you know what they say, opposites attract. Now, if going down the friendship path and working through their issues in typical Infinity Train fashion, the two could either go home with a revived friendship, or they could leave the train realizing they need to let go of one another. I believe the latter could be more interesting. Friends since childhood who are putting up with each other for the sake of the other? You can't force yourself to be friends with someone who you just don't get along with. And personally, that message would be more relatable than reviving the friendship. So here's a few potential dynamics between the two protagonists. These storylines and dynamics between the two wouldn't matter if they were in a relationship or not. As I said above, Min is more reserved and cautious, while Ryan is outgoing and reckless. In this one scene in the trailer when Kez reassures Min that we got this. At first, I thought that Min may have a low self-esteem or was doubting himself as they were about to charge into the next car's adventure or something of that sort, which would fit his presumably introverted character. But notice how Kez doesn't say, you've got this. She says, we've got this. This could be implying all three of them. The more interesting option would be if Min doesn't trust Ryan and Kez not to screw up. As I said above, I think Ryan might be a little reckless. In all the scenes shown, Ryan always is seen running ahead of Min, charging straight into the next car before him. Another plot that I personally like the most is a combination of a dynamic and storyline over the course of the season between Ryan and Min. Throughout the trailer, we see Ryan constantly proclaiming his aspirations in life. It's always Ryan. Min just agrees. Ryan always felt the need to wait for Min to catch up for him because they were best friends, a duet tethered to each other. Though they grew to resent each other over time, they still call each other best friends, still bonded to each other. But once they get on the train, Ryan may see this as an opportunity to let go of his limit. We see him rocking out in the trailer, almost like he never had before, but without Min. All the astronauts were cheering for him without Min. Over the course of the many episodes, as the two's resentment is maybe replaced with distance, that could maybe result in Min's fear that Ryan will leave him when they get off the train. This is a perfect instance of dependency. They both think they need each other. They need to learn to separate. They may not necessarily end their friendship. They just need to learn to become more independent from one another. In the end, Ryan will assure Min that he won't leave him. He is not going anywhere. This would be a very interesting storyline to see and would end the series ideally. The characters wouldn't just go back to being friends, but they wouldn't end in a sad conclusion either. It's a perfect mixture. 
They are still friends, but need to learn to branch out and be more independent. Now to discuss the possibility of a romantic relationship between Ryan and Min. If strictly going off the trailer, there are a few implications of potential feelings between the two. For one thing, the friends turned lovers trope has been generally popularized recently. Some instances include Star and Marco, Steven and Connie, Glimmer and Bo, etc. So it would be a reasonable conclusion to draw that these two could follow the same path. An interesting storyline to follow would be if the two had started developing feelings and chose to resent each other and keep insisting they are best friends. They could come out of the experience with a better idea of themselves and a comprehension of these feelings, but whether they would embrace them or stay friends is hard to tell. There is a certainly a possibility, and I'm sure the fandom will ship the heck out of them. But for now, I think the best conclusion to draw is for them to just be friends, going through a rough time. Allow for more potential plot lines and unique dynamics that we would never see if they were just struggling homosexuals. As much as I do think I will eventually ship the two, I think the best thing for the story would be for them to be childhood friends. Again, this is just my opinion. It doesn't reflect the opinion of the rest of the team. I could be totally wrong. Owen and the crew could wow us with an incredible storyline unique to the characters with the two experiencing feelings for one another. To sum up the video, the possibility of Ryan and Min having feelings for each other is there and could lead to interesting storylines, but it's more likely they're just friends. The most interesting dynamic between the two would be if they were childhood friends who have forced themselves to keep their friendship alive due to the years they shared together, despite them growing to resent one another. The most interesting storyline could be Min feeling as if Ryan will leave him once they get off the train, due to his new sense of confidence and a lack of need for his best friend. Overall, there was a a ton of speculation in this video that could have completely be proven wrong. This is all speculatory when not opinion based, and my opinion isn't the right one, it's just my ideas and views. If you'd like to share yours, go ahead down in the comments! We can't wait for Infinity Train here at Cartoon Fanbase, and we hope you can't either. And with that, this is Squid, wishing you a good day.